just another stitch. For those who don't know me, my name is Connie, and if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. And if you are new, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how you found out about my channel, and let me know a little bit about yourself so I can start to get to know you better. So today's video is hot off the hook, and I have lots to show you on this video. If y'all didn't see my last hot off the hook video, I shared with y'all a St. Patrick's Day leprechaun gnome hat that I designed. And this hat is currently being tested. And it may actually be released by the time that this video is uploaded. So I'm hoping Monday I can upload it. And this video will go out Monday. So it's coming very soon. And if y'all didn't see what it looks, looked like, I'm going to share a picture of it with y'all now. Also, I shared with y'all a St. Patrick's Day leprechaun gnome scarf that I designed. And that is currently being tested. Um, it's probably still about two weeks away from releasing that pattern, but it is coming. And I'm going to let y'all see a picture of that scarf in case y'all haven't seen it yet. So those designs are coming pretty soon. And on top of that, I am working on designing an Easter gnome scarf. And there will be a video tutorial for the scarf. And this is how it's looking so far. And I'm basically, I just got to do that last four row section and then the decreases. And that will be the scarf part itself. And even if you don't want to do the Easter touches, this tutorial will teach you how to make a scarf following this type of pattern. This is done in corner to corner. So you can use it just to make a, a regular scarf. And you can use whatever colors you want to use. It doesn't have to be the same colors as me or even Easter colors. Now, if you want to do the Easter touches like what I'll be doing, I will show y'all how to do that too. And I think that port's going to be in a separate video, the port two video. Because just the scarf, it's going to be a long enough video, you know, for just one video. But that tutorial is coming. I'm hoping I can get it finished by the end of this coming week. That's what I'm aiming for. We'll see. <laughs> and if y'all didn't notice, I did put out two ear warmer tutorials recently. The first one is this one. This is done in the waistcoat stitch. Oops, I have it upside down. Sorry. This is the waistcoat stitch. It looks like the knit stitch and knitting. Or do I have it upside? I still have it upside down. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you see how it looks like the knit stitch? But this is crochet. And I show you how to do this stitch in the, in the tutorial. And if you want to make the ear warmer, and you don't have to use the same colors as me. I just went with St. Patrick's Day colors since St. Patrick's Day 
is coming around the corner. And also, I did an ear warmer tutorial using the store stitch. So I teach you how to do that stitch in this tutorial. And here is the ear warmer for it. And I use the Picasso yarn. And with Picasso, there's really not like a, a color name. It may have had a number to the color, but I don't know what it was. Sorry. But that's the type of yarn that I use for this. And I will put both those tutorial links in the description box of this video. And I always recommend checking out the description boxes of videos because you never know what important, important information you're going to find there. And then most of y'all know that Bag of Day recently did a tutorial for that, that uh, Jasmine Stitch Beanie. And this is a stitch that I've been wanting to learn how to do. And guess what? I did it. Isn't that gorgeous? I just, I think that's, that stitch is just so beautiful. And it took me three or four times to get it down. But the thing is, if, if you want to learn how to make this, don't give up on yourself. You can do it. Just keep on until you get it. Bag o Day wa walks you through everything. You got it. You got it. You can do it. I promise you. And I will have the tutorial. Um, I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I will have the link for her tutorial in the description box down below. All right. Next up. Remember how I told y'all I wanted to make the Lotus Vest? Well, I started working on it. And I'm actually a good ways. I think I have maybe seven more rounds left on it. Let's see if I can find where it starts. Give me a minute, y'all. Okay. All right. Here's the sleeve holes here. I think. Nope, I still don't have it. <laughs> now I do. And, okay, yeah, I have it the right way. See, here's the, the first sleeve hole. There's the other sleeve hole. And there's, that's how it's coming along. But I have for the body, I think, seven more rounds to go. Then I have to do the sleeves. And this has, like, the long sleeves and their bell sleeves. I think bell sleeves are gorgeous. Let me know if you're a fan of bell sleeves in the comment. And I will share with y'all a picture that I took. I have done more rounds since I took the picture, but I'm going to let y'all see it laying flat so y'all can kind of see it better. But don't worry, once it's finished, I will share some good pictures where y'all can see it really good. And if y'all interested in this pattern, the link will also be in the description box of this video. So the yarn that I use for that vest, this is what it looks like. Um, it's called Yarn Art Flowers Moonlight. And the color is 3272. It don't actually have a name. Oh, and one thing I did forget to mention for that Jasmine Stitch hat of Bag o Days, the yarn I use for it is Shasson. This is what the label looks like. That's my leftovers. That's the yarn I use. And let's see if it has an actual color. If I can find it. I 
I don't see a color. I might just be overlooking it. But it's a pretty blue. I love that shade of blue. So anyway, I am curious. What are you currently crocheting? Let me know in the comments down below. And now we're going to get into buddy news. Meow, meow. buddy news today oh buddy that's all I gotta say buddy has learned how to dance you know in the movie dirty dancing how there's a scene where Patrick Swayze um well Jennifer Grey runs to Patrick Swayze and you know they do that lift and he's holding her up well me and King Buddy did that scene um there's actually this video that i saw on facebook showing patrick swayze with this beautiful black cat doing doing that lift it, it was the cutest video so buddy was on his stool and he jumps down and he comes well he was kind of walking a little quick but he was still being pokey going towards me so I'm like I'm gonna do the lift with buddy so of course right before he gets up to me he he hesitates and stops so I had to bend down pick him up and I was like <laughs> holding him up like how they did the lift and he's of course looking at me like mommy put me down put me down now mommy <laughs> But it was too cute. And Frank's, Frank was back, you know, was sitting there just laughing at, at me. Um, but, but Buddy's being, I call him my love bud. You know how Sophie was my love bug? Well, he's a love bud. B as in boy, U as in unicorn, D as in dog. <laughs> he is such a sweetheart I mean that cat is just always so happy and content he's been spending a lot of time at the front door on a stool he thinks he's ruling the world and I, I can't I can't let him think anything differently one day there were stray cats around and you could tell he's all like Look at me. I have my own stool. <laughs> I'd love to know what conversation he was having with the stray cats. Okay, so I had finished filming this video. And not even a couple of hours later, Mr. King Buddy does something else that was just too cute not to share with y'all. And I knew if I didn't put it in this video, I would probably end up forgetting to tell y'all about this. Buddy tasted the goodness of the biscuit. So Buddy was on the living room chair and Frank was standing right by it. And Buddy was trying to get Frank's attention. Because for some reason, when Frank's close by, Buddy gets in obsession mode. It's like he wants his daddy. So he bit Frank's belly. Um, He didn't bite hard or anything. When Buddy bites, it's like this little gentle nib nibble. But he bit his stomach. <laughs> Then Frank was going to go lay down and Buddy's following him and he starts headbutting his hand. <laughs> and once Frank lay down, Buddy plopped on the biscuit's chest. He claimed his biscuit after he took a bite out of the biscuit. <laughs> but that's all I needed to share with y'all. 
So I hope y'all get a good laugh out of this. <laughs> Anywho, I hope everyone is having a fabulous yarny day. Be the light and always remember to be the best sparkly you that you can be in. Be cool and be kind. Bye, y'all. Thank mm-hmm. you.